Jace Tunnel here, uh, Mission Aranzas Research Reserve at the University of Texas Marine Science Institute. Today is Monday, January 11th, and it's cold. We just got a cold front in yesterday, and it's in the 30s, I think. I don't know, it's, we're not used to uh, it being this chilly here. But um, what I'd like to do is uh, just be able to walk along and uh, nothing special today, but just show you what's uh, going on on the beach, what's been washing up. Now, let me turn it around here. Um, look out, sun is, hasn't come up yet. Still got a, probably 10 or 20 more minutes. But last night, the tide was all the way up to the sand dunes. The waves were big, then the cold front came in and it's pushed the water all the way out. So it's low tide right now. But because of that, we've got this nice line of stuff that's washed up. So let's see, let's see what's all in here. And I haven't, I, you know, I just pulled up here, so. I haven't really looked too much. I got my mitten here, I got my here. can find something natural. Sometimes that's a challenge. Nope, that's a black mangrove seed. What's this? Okay. Now this is a cotton bud. You know how I know that? The difference between a cotton bud and another common one that we find, which is uh, the popsicle stick. This actually has a lot of little bitty slits in it and on both sides. And so that's where the cotton uh, attaches on there. I was gonna see if I could find a popsicle stick. We'll keep watch, uh, walking here, see if we can find that. Now, look at this. The number one piece of trash found anywhere in the world at any cleanup at any time is cigarette butts. And that is actually made out of uh, plastic. Yeah. And pick that up and throw it away correctly. Um, another thing that we find all the time during cleanups is bottle caps. So this is from a water bottle. We find that those all the time, and that those are real dangerous. Uh, you see the shape of it. You know, if sea turtles eat that, or fish, or or birds try to swallow it. You know, anything round like that can get stuck in their air passageways. Let's see. We've still got some of this reed. You know, uh, about a month or two ago, we had a lot of this kind of bamboo looking stuff that had washed up, and I mean crazy mats of it. So it looks like there's still a lot of that out, out and about. I was hoping to find some shells. Of course, you remember I told you if you want to find stuff early, you got to get out of early. There's actually people on the beach. And I mean, it is cold and windy. The wind is uh, blowing probably 20 mile an hour. Look at, I don't know if you can see the tops of those waves just blowing back. Oh, and the location we're at, we're at uh, White Cat Beach, and that's on North Padre Island. See some more, uh, more uh, black mangrove seeds. We find a lot of times, um, there's a couple of black items you can find. This one here uh, looks like it's uh, old tar uh, that's hardened and then broke apart. But lots of times you find uh, charcoal so like wood that had like, um, so, so this, this is actually wood that was burned and then uh, washed up. So for people from fires or maybe, that's most, most of the time wh why we find that is people having fires on the beach. We also find lots of seeds. So uh, here's a nice little round seed. Uh, the, other, the other week when all that reed 
was and bamboo type stuff was floating up. We had these types of seeds um, that were coming up, but that shows you that you know you talk about how things get from one place to another and how you get invasive species vegetation. It has to do with the ocean currents bringing stuff up on the beach and up into the bays, and then it plants itself, and then we start getting these. That's one way. Another way is for animals like birds to eat them, eat those seeds, then fly over here, poop them out, and then they, the plants start growing. And like how we have Brazilian pepper uh, problems that we're trying to get rid of. Although they're real pretty plants, but uh, real bad for the environment. Now look at this. From a fishing lure. Keep that one. Oh man, one thing that's real bad for the environment are balloons. And uh, you know, when these things are, are big and floating around out there, they, they look like um, jellyfish and uh, sea turtles eat them, uh, all kinds of animals. And then, and then once they get back up on land, and even after that, but see that long string, that entanglement is huge for sea turtles and birds. Oh, now look, here's something natural. What do you think this is? This is the first one of this year, huh? Yeah. But this is actually uh, an egg casing. And it's an egg casing for a lightning whelk. Ugh, let's see here. Egg casing for a lightning whelk. Cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad we found something natural that was cool today. Okay. Look at this. Pepper. Huh. Interesting. Look at that. A hand of a paintbrush. the cold weather. Sometimes you gotta dig around in here. You wanna, uh, now this right here, this is actually drift algae. So this comes, this floats around out in the bays uh, and then gets taken out through the passes and then washes up on the beach. And sometimes you can find big mats of this stuff washing in. Uh, the other thing that we see is sargasm, which is actually uh, that floats out in the ocean uh, in big mats, provides real good habitat. And then this other stuff we have here, we have uh, seagrass, different, this is uh, shoal grass from up in the bays. Well, maybe that's it for today. Another cigarette butt. Okay, well, maybe that's all we got for today. Looks like uh, the sun's trying to come back up. Maybe I'll leave you with a picture, a uh, video of the ocean and uh, the sun rising. Wow. Even though it is like crazy cold out here, that's just a beautiful sight. Okay, till next week, we'll see what's washing ashore on beachcombing. Talk to you later. Bye.